Right, hello YouTube. Uh, I've got a little project. <laughs> uh, one of my neighbours asked me if I could repair his uh, work concrete mixer. It's had a bit of a mishap. The bearings are gone and broke the shaft and done all sorts of malarkey. So I've got to um, see if I can fix it. He's, he's asked around and nobody else seems to want to uh, to entertain the idea. It's a big old um, big old diesel job. Uh, right, we'll uh, see if we can take it apart and see what we find. Cheers for now. Right, hello again. Well start with obviously the bolts broke the bolts that go in the bottom of there that hold the main shaft to the base plate so that's the bit that's come out and all that shaft there is the bit that's got to come out because that's what the bearings are on so we got to take this all apart and uh, sort it all out. So we'll we'll heave it outside and see what we can do. That's got to be fixed then. I don't think there's actually anything wrong with that bit. I'll have a, look, have a quick look. Yeah. That's where the bolt came from. And I think, ah, yeah, that shaft should be welded there. That should be welded in there, and the wells broke, so well, um, that's got to be welded back into place then. Right. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Right. Okay, maybe you can see, see if I can find the light. There's a light on here somewhere. No, I thought there was a light on here. Oh well, could have sworn there was a light on this camera. Anyway, as you can see that's been smashed open when the bearing collapsed. Not sure what sort of metal that is. So I have to um, have to do something about that. But the bigger the bigger issue. Right, let me just put this camera down and I'll try and turn this over for a minute. Okay. The bearings in there are knackered, and those are the bolts I've got to pull out and replace. That's probably a 
slight mild exaggerate, um, underestimation for the bearings. Knackered is probably a mild word. Oh yes. Right then, time to pull it to pieces. I'll give it a clean up and see what I can find. I'll see you shortly. Right, okay then. Time to see if we can get this apart. <coughs> I assume you can still get the parts with it. Mind you, it's only bearings. Just order the size you need, don't you? Uh, that's the main thing. That's one great big uh, circlip. Give it a few taps to unseat it. Movement's always a good sign. circuit flyers. I might have to cheat and do it the old fashioned way. Loosen it up a bit more. shaft where it's supposed to be welded to the piece inside. Small screwdriver. Let me go and get a small screwdriver. Let's see if I can hook that inside there. where it pings off and shoots and hits you in the eye. to be a, a sort of 
um, protective metal guard of some description that's completely falling apart. Yeah. Looks like a um, yeah, it's an old seal. Yeah, that's cool. Dear me, that's rotten as a pear. Ooh, look at those bearings. Lovely and dry. Oh, that's part of the bearing, actually. Uh, I think they're going to be a bit awkward to get out. Right, okay. Right, we'll start bashing at this with a hammer. And we'll be back soon when we've got some progress. Cheers for now. Right, welcome back. Right, I've we'll ground the top off, cut the top off there, and that's the the bearing, the bottom bearing, which uh, is definitely not attached anymore. So, uh, luckily, this looks like the bearing outer ring is starting to come off. So, that's... Uh, make a new cap for that when the, when the new bearings are gone in. It's just a cap welded in place by the look of it. Oh, there you go. That's oh, there you go. There we go. There's the outer bearing shell. Woo! Good. Right. Just gonna bash that down. Where's all the little? I take it all the little ball bearings fell out that crack. Right, I bash that about now. See if I can get the bottom one out. Cheers for now. 